Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. Last time we heard about an argument over in the Grand Market, so let's head on down over there and see uh, if we can't help things out. Oh. Yeah, how are you doing? Well, there was vandalism or something going on, so... Oh, robbery. Wow. Huh. Something tells me I kind of know who these, uh, merchants are. Well, who'd you think it was, Elisa? Oh. So Otto can't even do anything about it? I hope so, too. We might have to pull him apart again. We could try. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we could try. Oh. Sure. All in a day's work for some military students. Yep, it's them again. See, this is what I don't understand. Is it actually a robbery? Or was it just vandalism? Or was it a little bit of both? To me, it just looks like vandalism, but they keep on calling it a robbery. <laughs> I'm Dolly and Snob. <laughs> well, it was kind of a mis- well, it wasn't an honest mistake, it was kind of a dishonest mistake. Oh. Well, both stalls were vandalized. Neither of them had anything to do with it if there was some sort of third party involved. I mean, we did see that Eustace's father kind of, um, purposely sent out an extra permit for this one stall in order to cause, like, strife. So, maybe something else happened here to purposely cause some more strife for these merchants? But why are these two merchants getting targeted? Yeah. That is true. You know, violence doesn't solve anything. Go work out. Go do some push-ups or something. It'll go away eventually. Oh. Why don't they just, like, search each other's houses? I mean, well, this guy's from Heimdall. Like, where is he gonna store it? In the inn? I mean, give me a break. What, is he walking up the inn stairs with buckets full of this guy's goods and hiding them in his hotel room? Like, seriously? I don't think that they stole each other's goods. Whoa, he's like strangling that guy. Um, pull them off of each other? And who are you? Oh, finally! The army's gonna get involved! It's about time. Instead of yelling at them, maybe you should actually try to figure out what happened? Oh, okay, so he actually is gonna get an explanation, not just come over here, scream at them, and then leave. You know, maybe if you guys were out patrolling, you would have known about what happened last night. The solution is simple, arrest them. Why don't you investigate what happened rather than just arrest them on the spot? Really? Seriously? This is your evidence? You've got to be kidding me. This guy sucks. Who made you judge, jury, and executioner? Yeah, no kidding. I do. And Laura outranks all of you. Wow. If that's the case, then you probably shouldn't waste time arresting them either for no reason. Really? Seriously? These people suck! 
like, this is your solution? Like, not even trying to figure out what happened or who actually stole this stuff? Or who vandalized each other's stalls? Yeah, no kidding. I wonder if the army was somehow involved. Maybe they did it to cause more strife. Huh. Wow. It's not exactly their fault that they're causing a ruckus. I mean, they're understandably upset. What more pressing matters do you have to attend to? Your entire job is patrolling this town. There's nothing else going on in this town right now. This is the one thing that's happening. The one crime. And they're completely ignoring it. No kidding. And they're still just going to keep on fighting. They're just not going to do it in public. Yeah, they really kind of don't. They just collect their paychecks, I guess. They don't really do anything. Oh, like maybe cleaning up your stalls? But how are they going to get their goods back? I mean, if their goods really and truly worth stolen, they've got to be somewhere. The army should be conducting a search of the town. Oh, well that's nice. Everybody can go ahead and chip in. Oh, so now neither of them are going to be open for business. Oh, yeah, that's kind of crummy. So two merchants' livelihoods were pretty much destroyed because of this. And there's nothing that we can really do about it. Oh, well, thanks. Happy to help, I guess. That is kind of true. You guys did barely do anything, actually. <laughs> probably lost out on all that money. I mean, the grain market doesn't come around, you know, every day of the week, so they probably spent a lot of money on their goods, only to have them destroyed or stolen. Probably destroyed and stolen. Yeah. We've got to talk to Eusis whenever we get back. Yeah, this provincial army has major problems. Looks to me like it all comes right back to uh, the sales tax issue. The almighty dollar. The almighty Mira, in this case. Uh, yeah, but if you accept this sales tax increase, I mean, there's just going to be another one coming down the pipe later on. they would boycott because of the increased sales tax. I assume. I wonder who's referring to certain people. Yeah, what's going on, Reen? You okay? Oh. Okay. I guess th this is going to become our required quest. Yeah, we had two optional quests yesterday, and now we're going to have to do this required quest, which is fine by me. Um, yeah, Laura. You can give it a shot, at least. Well, this could kind of be part of our studies. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, we're here to learn about 
the culture and the livelihoods of these various towns here in Erebonia. So we can't just, you know, let this go by unchallenged. I wonder if we could just kind of get on our Arcus units and call up Usus. I mean, they do work as, like, portable phones. That'd be one way to uh, figure this thing out real quick. But I don't think that they'd think of that. Yeah, that is true. This isn't like Cold Steel 2 where we're badasses flying around on an airship kicking ass and taking names. I mean, this is just chapter one of the first game of the entire trilogy. I don't think that Instructor Sarah really cares what we do. Yeah, and she pretty much told us to um, do whatever we want to do. You know, we have pretty much complete autonomy. So as long as we're helping people, I don't see what the problem is. Yeah. Of course it does, Elisa. Helping people out. You know, that's pretty much what these field studies are all about, after all. Oh. Well, I guess he could use all the help that he can get. I mean, he can't solve this all on his own. our best. Oh, okay. I wonder who this criminal could be. Hmm. I mean, we did see Phantom Thief B earlier in the chapter, but this isn't exactly how Phantom Thief B operates. He kind of operates in riddles, and he just kind of plays around with you, and if you were to steal something, he would steal something of much, much higher value. But even then, he wouldn't really just steal it, he'd just kind of play with you. Also, he wouldn't steal from poor people, he would steal from the rich and kind of give to the poor. So, I really don't think it's him. Oh, yeah, I agree. Oh, okay. Maybe one of them attacked the other, and then thought about kind of vandalizing their own stall as well to make them seem innocent? I mean, that could be the case. Oh, yeah, that is true. does say that you have deadline of 9pm, but thankfully this game is not timed. Don't worry about it. You have all the time in the world to get done everything that you need to get done. So let's head on down over towards the uh, Grand Market and start interviewing these uh, merchants right here. Oh, poor guy. Hey, we've done nothing but help you. Come on now. Yeah, don't be mean to us. I'm trying to help. Oh, it's no problem. It's it's understandable. You know, I would be angry and upset too if I were you. Yeah, no kidding.
You know, sometimes during these support quests, I kind of feel like Lloyd in the special support section. You know, trying to go undercover and, uh, you know, investigate, figure all these things out. I like it. <laughs> we'll get to the bottom of this, don't you worry. Oh, um, that is true. Huh. If only we were Lloyd, he's really smart, too. He'd figure out the problem in two seconds flat. Yeah, so, uh, come on now, just tell us what you know. Stop hiding stuff from us. Oh, so you really didn't see anything. You just went to bed and it was fine, you woke up and it looked like this? Oh, I guess so. Huh. Well, nobody expects somebody to come in the middle of the night in this podunk country town and just go destroying a merchant stall. little bracelets were stolen, I guess. Well, if the fad hasn't caught on here, I would imagine that people would just kind of look at it and be like, what the hell is this thing, and just keep on going along with their day. It's not like anybody would even know about the uh, fad. It's not like they really have the internet in this game or anything. So, but somehow I don't think so. But then why would he s destroy his own stall? Come on now. Again, you could like search his house. But no. We're not gonna do that. God forbid. try to uh, make just justice prevail in the end. Okay, so let's head on back here and uh, talk to him, see what he has to say. Hey there, good guy. Yeah, you're kind of screwed. You know, I thought that um, the market manager Otto pretty much had everybody band together to clean up these stalls, and that's why the Grand Market opened up so late. But the stalls are still in a state of disarray. Maybe they just kind of swept everything over to the side, and now it's their job to, like, really clean it up, you know? Yeah, no kidding. Well, actually, I don't think the Provincial Army really accused anyone but they probably would take the side of the guy from Heimdall. Yeah, we are. Do you have any clues? Do you know what's going on here? That is true. I mean, you might as well cooperate with us. Because the army isn't going to help you guys out. And there's nobody else here to help you either. Oh, why is that? You didn't see anything either? Oh. 
So you didn't even set up your stall, you just left immediately after the argument. Oh, well then you have an alibi! Huh, well then what's the problem? Unless you came out in the middle of the night in your drunken stupor and you did it and you're just not really aware of it. Huh. Oh, yeah, I can imagine. Oh, so they stole all the processed foods. So we got bracelets and processed foods that have been stolen. Nothing fresh. Hmm. Well, we'll keep that in mind. Yeah, I can imagine. classic redirection, you know? He did it to himself to, um, you know, make it seem like he wasn't responsible. Makes sense to me, but something tells me that neither of them are responsible. There's obviously a third party around. Sucks. Yeah, don't be so down on yourself. Come on now, things will get better. Oh, well, thanks. So now what? Neither of them really had any clues at all. They both just kind of went to bed, woke up in the morning, and boom, done the end. Their stalls are destroyed. I'm right there with Elliot. I don't think that either of them is responsible either. Yeah, no kidding. And, like, with all the noise and everything, wouldn't somebody have seen something or heard something? Yeah, I guess so. Well, the one guy, he's staying at the inn, so I guess the innkeeper would have seen him, and the other guy stayed with his friend, getting drunk, so they both do have alibis for the night. Who else could be a suspect? Hmm, I wonder who's acting really suspicious lately? Oh, no one's acting suspicious at all! Sure, Elisa, sure. Hmm, let's just think about this. <laughs> Who's acting incredibly strange? I wonder. Yeah, I don't think it was any of these other merchants who uh, were out to do it. Oh, what's that, Reen? Yeah, no kidding. Hmm, I wonder, does it really take a rocket scientist to figure this out? is the Provincial Army. Yeah, they are acting strange as anything.
Yeah, they didn't want anything to do with the argument last night or the crime this morning. And, like, that's their job, is to keep the peace in this town. Yeah, but I think it's more than just taxes. Probably because we were making a scene, maybe? I don't know. Maybe they were on patrol and they just heard it? Yeah. They brought the dispute to an end, but I mean... Well, the outward fighting dispute to an end, but like... The inward animosity and the blame and everything is still there. they're gonna let us into the guardhouse, but we could. I mean, we might as well. Yeah, pretty close by. Okay, we'll do. And we're gonna head on over to the uh, provincial guardhouse next time on Let's Play Legend of Heroes Dress Cold Steel. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.